Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Larissa L and it's been a really long time since I've been on YouTube. So after a year and a half long break, I am back. We're going to be doing a lot of beauty videos, tutorials, uh, different brands. I know in the past my channel has primarily been all about Charlotte Tilbury. Don't worry, I will still include Charlotte's line because she's like one of my favorites. So if you're ready just to kind of relax, grab a tea, and have a good old-fashioned makeup tutorial, then let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so first off, we're gonna start with primer. I usually use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Primer, but today I'm actually going to be using what I've been loving the past couple months. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Now, this one is a liquid filter, and it's very comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury. I like this one a lot better. It comes in four different shades, and the price is half the price. Now, I use this as a primer. You can also mix this in with your foundation or wear it as foundation. Right now I'm in the color two, because I'm pretty fair, but when I have a tan, I can usually get away with uh, two or three. Now usually I'll go with my fingers, but this is a really nice foundation brush. This is by Say Beauty. This is their, I believe it's called their base foundation brush. I'll link it in the description box. But I've been loving this to apply anything that is cream to my face. Now for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in this shade 5 Neutral. And usually I pair this because I like a little bit more coverage with a primer that has um, coverage to it already. Just to kind of even out a lot of the veining I have on my face. And I usually go in with two or three pumps. But lately this has been my go-to foundation. And I use the same brush because real life so why not i've been getting a lot of sleep lately so i'm going to go in with the beautiful skin radiant concealer this is also by charlotte tilbury and this is in the shade five medium now i'll probably go lighter for the summer but i'm just going to apply that and also use it as a highlighter today as well i don't blend out my concealer with a brush usually i will use a damp beauty blender or i will use my fingers but a step i've been doing recently is in between the foundation and the concealer or after i've applied the concealer is i go ahead and i use a setting spray so i'm going to go in this is the mac fix plus one And I just bring the hydration back into my face and allow it just to set for a couple minutes before I go ahead and blend out that concealer. Now, if you're somebody who has mature skin, dry skin, oiler combination skin, sometimes just adding the step periodically as you are doing your base routine is going to give a lot of moisture back to the skin and kind of refresh the products. I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender here and I'm just going to blend this all out. So now that the base is on, you can go ahead and apply one more spritz. Now a lot of questions that friends and family ask me is how to prevent the cakiness under the under eye or the under eye creasing. So having a good under eye cream, one, the base step is always super necessary. So before you apply any product, make sure that you are using a very hydrating under eye cream. There's amazing ones on the market nowadays at all different price points. Remember to always use sunscreen and uh, a Retin-A as well. Retin-A can be a little bit drying, which is why I always say to use a very comparable moisturizer. The less product you apply in this area, the better. So you don't have to bring your foundation all the way up. You do not have to bring primer all the way up and you can apply very, very minimal concealer. Now, when I'm looking at concealer, I have two recommendations. Always is the creamy, I can never say this one right, the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer. And then the next one is actually the Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer by It Cosmetics. I swear by that stuff. It's in my kit. I apply it to everyone and it lasts all day long. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eye. And for that, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Now this one is really affordable, uh, comparable, I think, to a lot of the higher end translucent powders that are on the market. You want a powder that is very micro milled and that's going to give you the more airbrush flawless effect that you're looking for and you want to use very minimal powder. I always like to go in and dampen my powder a little bit with like a sponge. Some people like to put it on with just a dry fluffy brush but you only need the smallest amount. So I'm gonna show you what I do to kind of avoid the cakiness under the eye. So what I do is I go ahead and I take my sponge and I dip once 
two, three. Then what I do when I'm using the sponge, I just stipple it on the back of my hand because I want to get rid of any excess on it. I usually start on the farthest point and I just gently stipple it in like so. And that's all I do to apply my under eye because as we age and the more product we apply, it can emphasize the fine lines and wrinkles that we get. So now brows are on. I'm going to go ahead and kind of just set the center of my face. Again, I'm going to be using that Halo Elf Glow Powder. Now when I like to set the face, I like to use a little bit of a denser brush. I go in with a blush brush or a powder brush. Same thing. I just quick dip knock two, three, and I circle it around. And then I knock the excess off in the lid. Hold it up, keep knocking. You shouldn't have powder flying everywhere like I do right now, that was way too much. So we're gonna a couple dips on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stipple that just kind of in the center of my face and along my forehead, anywhere that I kind of want to set. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Flawless Airbrush Bronzer. I can never say this one right by Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the Instant Look in a Palette. Um, I have a whole bunch of these in my kit. I carry them with me all the time. It's like a whole eyeshadows, blush, highlighter, face powder, and a bronzer. Super easy and convenient to carry. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab more of a dense but flat brush just because I get the angles really easily. If you are somebody who's a little bit too heavy handed, you can go in with an angled brush like this that is a lot less dense. Again, I'm just going to dab that in or swipe it a couple times, knock on the back of my hand, and I just keep it really high and I don't bring my bronzer past the pupil of my eye when I'm looking straight. And the reason why I do this is because as we age, things tend to drop. So you want to make sure you are only keeping your bronzer at a very high angle. And I also put it above my cheekbone. I no longer take it down above my cheekbone. So I take it right from where, just above where my ear is starting. And I just brush it back. Then once I'm done applying my bronzer, I just go in with a beauty blender and I just go over it just to kind of tap it out, make sure there's no harsh lines. So let's talk about blush. Now I know powder blush has been all the rage for a whole bunch of years, but uh, cream blush is making a comeback. And if you are somebody who loves something convenient, like a little stick, this is the Makeup by Mario blushes. Now I have two, one is in the color Coral and the other one is in the color Pink Petal. I love these blushes. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna apply it literally on top of the bronzer and I'm not gonna go past my pupil. So I'm just gonna do a couple dots and on this side, you can apply a little bit like a dot here and a dot here to your temples and then a little to your chin as well. You can go ahead and use a dense brush to blend it out. You can use your fingers. Um, and I'm just going to go in with a beauty blender and what I'm going to do is just tap that back and forth. I find this gives the most even and kind of natural flush look. And at this point, if you want to blend it out and you're having some issues, go ahead and apply a setting spray once again. And that should just help kind of just make everything a little bit more malleable and melt in the skin, or you can use the heat from your fingertips. Now for eyes, I'm gonna keep it super simple and we're gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow. This one is from the drugstore. This is by Maybelline. This is their 24 hour tattoo. Uh, eyeshadow and this one is called 25 bad to the bronze you can use your finger to apply it I'm gonna go ahead and just take a dense brush and then I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid and up into the crease I want to keep the eye look really simple today then taking a brown eyeliner I'm just going to smudge this back and forth on my top lash line. Now this can be really messy because we're going to go ahead and smudge it out after and then I'm also going to run this onto my lower lash line and then rim my waterline. 
So we're gonna go back in with that same smudger brush that we use for the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna run that back and forth. And on top of the lash line, right where you applied the cream pencil, I just really work it in there. And I'm gonna add some mascara and eyes are done. And recently I've been loving this new MAC Stack Mascara. This just gives the most amount of lashes and length and volume I've had in a long time in a mascara, so I'm very excited about it. I've been using this one probably for three months, I think, and I just run this through my lashes. I start at the base, wiggle up, and then brush through. And then I apply it vertically to my bottom lash line. I mean, the amount of lash that that mascara gives is... Next, I'm doing the lips, and because glossy lips are all in, and so are lip oils, I have this lip oil gloss from Lee's Watchy. I will link that down below. And for lip liner today, I'm going to use the color... This one is by NYX. It is in the color Nude. All right, here is the final look, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please go ahead and comment down below any questions you have, any requests for video tutorials. Um, it doesn't matter if it's beginner, it doesn't matter what age you are, I'm open to hearing any type of feedback or questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.